to build or to buy? That's the question we're going to look at today. Uh, I, I come from a technology background, so we're often faced with this, this decision. Do we just build something in-house or do we go and buy something off the shelf? Pros and cons to both. Often it comes down to things like price, time it would take for us to build versus buy, and flexibility, how much customization we want to do. So I, I thought I'd look at this question around projection mapping. And I'm going to do it in two parts, one on the hardware side and then another video on whether or not to buy a pre-existing show or build one. There's no right or wrong answer to any of these. A good friend of mine says that life is a big game of would you rather. And this is one of those would you rathers with trade-offs. So I'm just going to share uh, kind of my observations, my experience yeah, with the pros and cons to both so that you can decide which way you want to go. So starting with the hardware side, there is a lot that we need to have on the hardware side in order for us to do good residential projection mapping. Uh, there's obviously the projector, but there's a bunch of other tangential type things too. And so uh, let's look at cost first, kind of a quick cost comparison between a, a build versus buy. Uh, if we were gonna build our own, if we're a DIYer, which is what I did uh, for my first couple, for probably a year, year and a half, we built our own. So if you're going to build it, it's good to know what pieces you're going to need and, and roughly how much it's going to cost. These are these are low estimates about what I paid two years ago, give or take. Obviously, you're going to need a projector. Eleven hundred dollars is what I spent for my Optima uh, that had four thousand lumens, ten eighty p, an enclosure to protect it from the elements. You know, if you're building it yourself in wood, fifty bucks. A video player. And on the low end, you can get one for $50. I haven't had very good reliability with those. So I like something like a Sprite player that's a little bit more 80-ish dollars plus the USB to run it off of. So around $100. FM transmitter slash speakers, I have both. So I spent $100 for that. Software, which gets into the other video. Like if you, you can use something like DaVinci Resolve and that's free but I went the After Effects route. And so that is about 240 a year reoccurring. For After Effects, I also had to buy a better PC. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I got a used one for $600. So that's definitely low end for a laptop that can handle After Effects. And then all the other miscellaneous stuff, cables and a fan to keep your projector cool. Uh, we'll just say it was about $25. So that gives us a grand total on the low end, if you're gonna build it yourself of $2,200 to get up and running. Now let's compare that to a couple of different options. If we were to, to buy all the hardware. Now where we're at as of recording this video and where we're at with the adoption of projection mapping and is there are a whole lot of options for buying all of this. There, there was three, now there's two that I know of. And if, if you have another one that you know of that I don't, then then let me know, send me a message, leave a comment and let me know what, I'm, what I don't know. But the two that I am aware of, first one is digitalpressworks.com. Uh, you, you might be familiar with this. This is a great website. Most of us use his software to map our houses. And he also offers a, an equipment package where he'll build the box with all that stuff that we listed already included. So if you go to the digital press, works route for a, a comparable projector to the one I was using. It's about $1,200 plus the box of all that other stuff we mentioned on the last screen for about $900. So that gets us $2,200. Pretty comparable. He gives you a very fair deal, especially since shipping is included uh, to put all this together for you. So from a financial standpoint, uh, that's a, it's, it's probably, it's a pretty good option. The other option for buying all of this instead of building it yourself is Luxedo. And for my comparison, they have a few products. They have their original Luxedo projector. They have Lux Link, which allows you to bring your own projector, but use their software. And then they have the Lux Omni, which is their new one. Lux Omni is the one I'm going to compare to because that's the one that I would recommend going with if you're getting into projection mapping. The Lux Omni is an all-in-one system. Again, it has everything that, uh, that I listed on the build it yourself. Uh, along with a partnership with Optima, so you can still get a good Optima projector. And so price comparison on those, on their website, they have two different projectors uh, that they give pricing for. I imagine 
you'll be able to, to use about any Optima if you want to and just get the rest of the stuff. So the projector on for their low end projector from Optima is 1270. That's a 3000 lumen. And then the Omni itself is just over a thousand. So for a, a lower brightness, 3000 lumen projector with the Omni is about $2,400. Now, if you step up the projector, that steps up the price. Now, if you get the Optima ZH406 ST, then it's about $3,500, okay? So um, as we're trying to decide if we wanna build or buy, those are some of the cost comparisons. Now, if you, if, if you build it yourself or you go with Digital Pressworks, it, I think that's a pro. I think it's probably gonna be cheaper. Other pros of building it that I can see is it's going to give you maximum flexibility. Maybe you're looking for refurbished projectors or you're looking for uh, finding different components that you like. Uh, I actually used an old Roku player for a video player that I had lying around so I didn't actually have to buy anything. And so that gives you the, the flexibility to put it together however you want, the choice is yours. And if something's wrong, you know exactly what all the components are. And so maybe it's easier to troubleshoot when something's going wrong. Those are all pros. Some cons for it, if, you, if you're gonna build it yourself, is how much time it takes to piece all that stuff together and to understand all of it. There's gonna be added complexity. You're gonna to have to know more about the, the system in order for it to work smoothly. Um, another con that I've had, you know, I, I built my own box uh, as well as the one from Digital Pressworks is it has to be big enough to fit all of that stuff in there. And so it's a, it's a pretty bulky, pretty big box compared to something like the Lux Omni that's built to fit right around the projector. So those are some of the pros and cons of building. Uh, for buying, the pros are simplicity. Uh, you're not going to have to research all the different parts. You're not going to have to piece it together and test it. It's just going to come to your door. The Deluxe Edo or Digital Pressworks will just send it to you and that part's done. Uh, that also means it's going to be a lot faster to get everything up and running. You won't have to take as much time. Uh, if you went the Luxedo route, additionally, it's a more compact uh, package. The, the enclosure that it comes to is smaller. Uh, a con for buying it is probably cost, particularly on the Luxedo side, it is going to cost more. Um, and, but an asterisk next to that is while it, while it costs more, they're also cloud-based, which allows them to innovate quickly and seamlessly roll out new features. And so in the, and, and we'll maybe get into this more in the software one, but with Luxedo, you're going to have um, any new things that come out. So for example, they have a projector synchronization that they released where you can use multiple projectors. That's automatically just part of, of the software. You didn't, I didn't have to add uh, or piece anything together to, to get that to work or their, their Lux radio or the scheduling system. So it can just kick off on its own without you having to, to be out there and hit play. And so wrapped up into that cost is it's gonna make it simpler and it's going to give you a, a broader range of different features that you can use. One more con with the buying it is it's a little bit more of a black box. You, you may not, if something goes wrong, you may not really know what's going on and you may be reliant on who you purchased it from to troubleshoot it and figure it out. Whereas if you build it yourself, you know what's in it and you know where to go to troubleshoot and to try to fix it yourself. So whichever direction you go is totally cool with me. Those are just some of the considerations I could, I could think of on, on build versus buy. Uh, if you think of something else that you'd like to consider, then let me know in the comments or send me a message. And I'll see you in part two where we look at uh, should I buy a show or should I build a show and some of the considerations and trade-offs there.